Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2 with your two favorite vloggers, John Coleman and Art Kirsch. Hello, audience. We, Hello, we are John. favorite vloggers, aren't we, Art? We are. We know that. We've done careful I, I, market research. Art, I liken us... I liken us to the uh, the Muppets, the two old guys in the balcony. <laughs> That's what we are, two old guys in the balcony. Is that, you mean, is that a, a uh, promotion from the Two Stooges? Oh, the Two <laughs> Stooges? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a promotion. Uh, we, we're here to c not quite kvetch about everything. Hmm. But anyway, uh, here's the, my topic for the week to discuss because it's been bothering me quite a bit. Inflation. Huh. Um, now you're not talking. We're not talking now about uh, weight gain. <laughs> that kind of inflation too. Because yeah. that's something we're, well, well, we. Excuse me. The two of us have been dealing with for a while, and it goes okay. up and down. But uh, and down is better. What did uh, May West said? But believe me, down is better. Some kind yeah. of period. But anyway. Yeah. But you're talking about the kind of in pocketbook inflation, are you not? Oh boy. We all know what I'm talking about. Mm. It's it's, uh, and here's the here's the worst part. You and I and everybody over what sixty, I think, um, remembers the inflation from the was it the seventies, late seventies, right. early early, yeah, low mid seventies, I think. Was there was that a Gerald Ford whip inflation now? When or was it Jimmy yeah, Carter? Yeah, after one Jimmy of those Carter. guys. Yeah, yeah, whip inflation and, now. And, wow. and here's what amazes me. Having this country having gone through that kind of inflation, whatever it was 50 years ago, 40 years ago, uh, how could they let it happen again? They, the ubiquitous, though, well, those, those strange, think, did you they cause are, it? Did I cause it? Well, I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, well, all your excess uh, spending on uh, things like food and gasoline. I don't know. You've been, you know. I think I've you, got to stop you may, you may in fact, be and the inflation totally will go to away. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I think that I, well, forgetting about the reasons for it, and you can blame the Fed, you can blame uh, uh, government planners, you can blame the uh, stimulus money, you can blame all sorts of things. And I'm sure it's a combination of those things surrounding the pandemic. And then because of it, that. Yeah, all right. But here's what it isn't it isn't the consumers creating inflation. That's what it's oh, not. Yeah, so it's not our fault. It, it is always and everywhere government's fault for inflation. Well, shame and once, on them. And I don't mean just in the U.S. I mean, look all around Everybody. the world right. at any country. It's always the government's fault. Usually, but not always, it's printing too much money. But you're right. There's a million things they can do to make inflation. So and let's you know start, what? Let's... I'm amazed they did it again. Uh, and you know what? They'll do it again and again and again. But but unlike the last time the two of us and our our cohorts, our, our audience, went through right. inflation, uh, even if it's a we, we know that it's gonna be a four, five, six year period of time until everything really gets straightened out. Well, it's, unlike the well, unlike the last transitory. one, we don't have that many in front of us now that we had then. So making right. adjustments is a lot more difficult particularly for people on fixed incomes. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, who are who are living off of their investments in IRA. It doesn't go as far. And so a lot of people are having That's to make a lot of miles. tough decisions uh, right now yeah. on a travel they'll do just in the automobile. Okay. It, inflation it, inflation always hurts the poorest people the most. Mm. And next to being poor is having a fixed income because you can't afford Right. You're not getting a raise in it. You can't go in and negotiate with the boss and say, gee, prices are higher. I need a 5% increase instead of a 1% bump. You know, you, you can't do that. Right. Now, granted, granted, they've taken Social Security and its index to inflation these days. So that's helpful, but it's not enough. But I mean, still, a lot of people are not eating out as often. Oh. Just from a financial standpoint, they're not taking as many uh, side trips of the car uh, especially or vacations or vacations. And of course, that's going to make things even more difficult for the general yep. economy. And that's yep. why we're talking probably four or five. Even though uh, when we're as we're shooting this, 
we know that uh, I know that gas prices have come down in Orange County, California, where I live, about sixty cents a gallon. I buy at Costco, and I normally get a pretty darn good price. But I yeah. uh, I'm paying about sixty cents less than I was paying uh, maybe a month ago, but still a lot more than I was paying. Uh, Gee, aren't we lucky? Yeah. Gas prices have come down to five dollars. Oh wow, what yeah. a treat! Hey, wait, well, no, five dollars? Wait, I'm going. I don't care if I have to go a hundred miles to find that price. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say. I, I was going to say you are, you're taking it as the new normal, and a little bit of a bump looks like a wonderful relief for you. And I'm saying, there's no excuse for any of this. Sure. And, and it does hurt. A poor people, but certainly everybody who's retired or on a fixed income. So that's we're all, me we're and, all and making the whole adjustments. Act two audience. We're, we're all making adjustments uh, within within range, and uh, some people have like uh, some people have their mortgages paid off, so that's helpful to them. Other people don't. Other people are renting. So everybody's in different circumstances, but there's probably very few people other than the ultra wealthy. Okay, who haven't made some kind of change and we'll have to adjust. So the, our message today is yes, we know it. Okay, we know that we're hurting and that you're hurting and that we're going to have to make adjustments and, and um, uh, we'll get through it. But like, why does it have to happen over and over and over again? We, maybe we can find somebody who's smart enough to understand that, uh, to give some directions. Because, you know, in the years that we still have a vote, who are the kind of people we should be looking for? Uh, to help prevent this, or is, are we just doomed because politicians will keep shoving money into the economy uh, to buy our votes? I mean, yeah. what, what are we going to do about it? It's something about getting in power that makes politicians say, gee, I've got all this money at my disposal, you know? Mm -hmm. Whether and, and they go crazy. I don't know why, but they do. Well, maybe and, we uh, should all run for Congress. All I can say is, Art, it's not that far a distance from the inflation we have today to the Zimbabwe dollar, which is, I think they have to have about $3,000 Zimbabwe money to buy a loaf of bread these days. So are you so, heavily invested in Zimbabwe dollars? I'm sorry to hear that. I am, and I'm getting hurt on the money exchange. It's not easy. Anyway, I, infl I, my, my message for everybody who's watching is, if we are old enough to remember the inflation of the 70s, we know that this stuff, A, isn't transitory. I know that two years ago when I started saying, oh, it's transitory. Well, that was wishful thinking. So it's not transitory. And B, it takes a long time to work itself out. Yeah. Whether the government helps you or not, it's going to take a long time. I think you, you said something about five years. I think it's a, probably a five-year uh, before we see the fix, even if they change policies and uh, and start reducing the inflation. Well, then I'm going to recommend five. to everybody that that uh, because I have, as as you, John, and some of our listeners know, I have a 25 year rolling plan. So I know that uh, the better days are going to be coming in my lifetime because I've got this 25 year rolling plan. Other people who are less optimistic, you know, maybe. Uh, just go spend it all right now, because it, it just the who, who was it? Uh, was it Bill Murray? It just doesn't matter. Yeah, just doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we hope that all of you are dealing with inflation as best you can. Don't let it get to you, and uh, let's continue to enjoy uh, our Act Two, uh, which is a longer, healthier life, and hopefully our money will run out just after we do. Yeah, and grow a garden. What the heck? Grow your own food, that's what I do, it's great. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.